Hi, we're at the website of arcanlinksd.com. We're in phase six, which means we almost in our university terms, almost graduating, right? So arcanlinksd is not for the beginner of Linux. It's after a few years of usage of Arch Linux or Arch Linux that you can come to grips with something as bare and minimal as Arch Linux D. Now all these videos can help you figure out how things work and what's behind all the actions I take, right? Because in the end, it's a kind of Sherlock Holmes project story. Look. What do I need? What do we have to install to get things rolling? And different ways to get a free system, free operating system, several ways to do that. And today we're gonna go for the Arclinks D Dusk. Dusk is a DWM, it's a fork, and you can use different options to install it. We're gonna go for a virtual machine, put inside virtual box here an ISO of Arclinks D and we tell it to boot up from that ISO. If your NVIDIA cards, you use these guys. Sometimes NVIDIA clashes with the Nouveau driver, use that line and the same applies with Intel AMD if it clashes with Nouveau second line. Nothing works, then it's line five for you. Virtual machines, always line one. And then we wait everything boots up there are two options Arclinks D has been created to be the most bare ISO but Calamaris is great it's the Linux Swiss knife installer and with the advanced installation it's just a matter of knowledge and clicking next 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 think about bluetooth do i need it what app will i use do i need sound maybe you need sound next maybe you'll need a login manager probably simplicity these are the default settings by the way of arclinx so the arclinx b dusk will conclude will include all this all this all this and this is the application slash configuration so anything dwm based dusk and cha dwm is all in one the application the configuration is in the same folder and this is a terminal from suckles.org and so on and so on this is our selection and then the rest is all tools and applications you select whatever you like and then we skip to where you live. We go to Belgium, we go to next, erase disk, choose whatever you wanna have, right? Let's do another one, riser, next. Oh, that's not okay. Like so. And this part is the click, 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 go away. Later on, I'll do a control R, reset, reinstall in the same video over everything everything is gone again and i'll do the base installation as well that's for later pausing now and then we have a look let's see so dusk is a fork of dwm have a look at suckless.org and we log into the environment super t present control alt t control alt enter sorry control alt t and that's rofi sorry control alt r rofi control alt t all right super q super shift q super shift q super shift d escape super x log out we've got it all it still needs a lot of applications and thanks to some design work, right? We have already a wallpaper, but basically it's still very much bare, <laughs> but it's up to you to make this one even nicer. So control R, if we go for an installation of base installation, so boot up with the ISO and choose the left one, the base or the bare installation, 
you end up in a black screen and you need to do some more work. We're gonna get the scripts. So copy paste our scripts, put them on your own GitHub, change them any way you see fit and then start learning to script because it's so fun to have somebody doing the work for you, right? Just run the scripts, go and eat and um, come back and everything works. That's the Arconlix nemesis on github.com slash Eric Dubois. So base it is, black screen. Mm -hmm. These are the choices you get in other distros. Basic things, language, where do you live, key binding please, of keyboard better. Next, erase all kind of options or not, right? Or not, except as this time, whoop, lots of noise in the back end there. That was an accident. <laughs> and then next, install, install. I'm gonna pause and gonna see what's going on. All right. And then we start. So the system, you skipped a lot of stuff that's in phase seven explained how to do an Arch Linux installation. Xorg is there, drivers are there, but right, there is still a lot thing, lots of things to do. Grub is there, the user is there. So many things have been covered already. You type mirror, mirror X, mirror D, let's do mirror D this time. So the different aliases and you update your system. It's gonna look at the, the mirror thing is reflector basically, it's uh, an application that looks around and says, oh, this guy's living in Belgium. What are the best servers for him? That's reflector for you. That's mirror D, mirror X, mirror A, just mirror. And there are other ways to update it. It's just the arch. Linux servers, nothing about the Arco. That said, we want to install Dusk. You git clone, not fit. Well, let's do a clear. So git clone, https slash slash github.com slash, and then Arco Linux D. We're with the Arco Linux D ISO, that's our goal, slash. Arco Dusk. That's it. CD Arco Dusk LS. Run the scripts from the smallest number to the biggest one. SDM is going to be installed, activated, 2NR is going to be there. Ooh, XFC4 terminal, it goes fast, right? But of course, Dusk is going to be there. And it's a tiling manager, which means this script does a scale. The configuration needs to be in your dot config. So that's done by default. If you don't know what it is, read what it is, follow the URL that it says. It's all explained online on arclonics.com. Then we sudo reboot. That's already enough, number 100, and see what you get. You can keep on staying in the TTY and 110, 120, and 30, and so on. Bluetooth, printers, and all that. We've got SDM, it's enabled, and we've got simplicity. And we go in, and we've got our uh, environment, but the looks, right? Nothing has been done about icons, nor do we have anything about themes. It's all still a work in progress. This is maybe not something you'd like to have. Now, a super T, is either gonna work, a control alt enter is either gonna work if we go for uh, Alacrity, <laughs> because those are behind the key bindings. RXVT is super T and so on. Super shift D is the D menu, that's there. Super X is the logout, that's there. So what I'm gonna add to the Arconix D, F2, we go, so this is right control F2 or real metal, Control Alt F2. What I'm gonna add is this way minus S Allegretti. I need something, right? I need a terminal. But ST was there actually, Eric. ST was there. And I wonder if the sexy hotkey demon is there. Pseudo Pacman minus. Do we need it? I don't know. I should actually first check. Sexy hotkey demon. Was it there? Yes, it was there. So ST actually is something ah, that should be working. So sudo pacman minus s arcolinux, I'll add that to the list as well. 
DWM ST. It's the suckless terminal from uh, yeah for the suckless network. So choices, Lego blocks. Go get what you like. Let's reboot. This is an XFS system, as it shows up there. You choose whatever you want. There you have Super Enter. ST is now installed. So I better add it to the list. Super Q is working. Pycam is not installed. Mm, all right, that's why everything is black. And it keeps on being Sherlock Holmes, thinking, okay, what do I need? And Ctrl-Alt-O is activating, deactivating Pycam. Now Pycam is installed, now it can work. And it goes on and on and on, which is uh, your homework. How do I get this thing to be my operating system? What do I need? What packages, what configurations am I missing? Should I install, shouldn't I install? All right, have fun.